Good morning people, we are on our way to Switzerland and this is where we spent the night last night in the forest, super cute and cozy. And now we are on our way to Interlaken, so we see you there. We're finally in Switzerland! I can't get over this. Yeah. <laughs> this is insane. It is insane. This country is out of this world. Yeah. And if you haven't visited this country... You have to, really. Yeah, it's, it's like you haven't seen... magical. It's yeah. like you haven't seen anything if you haven't seen Switzerland. You just see the most cute little villages with like dramatic mountains with snow on the background like it's insane yeah. castles it feels like you're in an old kingdom just in another world really the nature is so beautiful the streets the everything feels so nice yeah like since we entered the whole vibes change it feels like <laughs> you're completely somewhere else really really love it yeah already it's so beautiful and we just arrived so i can't wait for the next week and all the fun stuff that we're gonna do here like we have to make decisions oh my god <laughs> we really have to make decisions yeah. it's one week in this country we're gonna have so much fun baby. yeah Absolutely insane. Castles everywhere in this country. You don't and even also, know where to look. 360 view <laughs> everywhere. Houses look so nice, so dramatic. I just flew the drone here next to that castle. It was insane. Mike went to the truck to the camper van because we're not allowed to park here next to the castle. You are allowed to park here, not allowed to camp, but also you need to pay with the machine. But we don't have coins and they don't take credit cards in those machines. So she had to wait in the car. <laughs> she went a little bit with me and then she went back to the truck for safety because fines here are a bit bad. <laughs> So we just parked the camper and now we're heading to St. Beta's waterfall and the caves. And these caves especially got their name from this Irish missionary who lived as a hermit in the caves. And according to legends, he defeated even a dragon there. Also, they are like 14 kilometers of an underground network of tunnels, chambers, and even underground lakes. So I think it's gonna be definitely worth our visit. And we are almost there now. So the interest tickets were 19 euro per person. You can visit the caves with the waterfall. And also there is a museum down there that you can also visit for the included in the price.
beautiful cave in Switzerland that been created by nature for over hundreds of millions of years. That's just fascinating. According to a legend, Saint Betis lived here in the second century, who was believed to be one of the Irish messengers of the faith. After his arrival, Betis is said to have driven away the dragon dwelling in the cave and then settled there to preach the teachings of Christianity and heal the sick. So here you see he has his food on the table and the cross on top of it. So that was his dining table. And a little bit inside, you see here is his bed. It was very small and tiny bed. Very interesting how he lived his life. He also had a net in his hand, so he always used to catch fish and uh, cook his food. This is his little oven and probably down is where he used to cook his food. And he used to live in that cave where we actually are. And uh, yeah, it's just fascinating, the whole story about it. So the full length of these caves that we're going to visit are 920 meters. And in total, the height difference is 87 meters. The temperature here is between 8 and 10 degrees Celsius. And the humidity is 95%. Mike, you can't fit in here. You're too big, baby, for that cave. Yes. <laughs> yeah, nearby the water is so loud, but uh, yeah, it's endless and it's also so beautiful. Like, it's so magical. looks like you're on another planet, like if this is Mars, <laughs> with the, the whole rough texture here and these holes and stuff. Look! <laughs> so now we are in the middle of the grotto and uh, here where we're standing, the water goes all the way to the waist in like high winter season and they have to close it two times per season because it's not accessible anymore and uh, it's more dangerous. Like here we're walking, it becomes half of it water all the way to the waist. It's, that's just incredible. This is the best part of the whole cave. Look how tiny this thing is and you can walk in between all those rocks. We're not allowed to touch anything so we don't damage the cave. And there is a chimney here above us. Look, so beautiful. So here above me, there is the chimney. And this chimney actually have the temperature of eight to 10 degrees throughout the whole season. Even if it's freezing outside, the temperature here stays eight to 10 degrees. And uh, that's what make like a whole ventilation system for the whole cave kind of, because the, head, the hot air always goes to the top and this is where it stays. And that's why they call this part the chimney. Wow, so dramatic. So here we see a cauliflower and this is very special because it's not created from soil center but from moon milk. And moon milk are sort of crystals coming from the water which is a bit creamy and therefore you see like a white grayish color. Here below there's a lot of coins and the reason why people throw these coins here you can make a wish and throw a coin in that small lake for uh, wishes to come true or for better luck. <laughs> so now we're at the highest point of this cave and the Lake Thun, which is in front of this whole cave, used to be 703 meters above sea level, but nowadays it lowered even 200 meters and we are now on like 530 um, meters above sea level. This is just insane! It looks so beautiful! Wow, look at this! This is so beautiful and it's endless. It's so big and it's so magical. Water pressure here, like the river and the small waterfalls are so strong. So these in the ceiling on top, they are called noodles and they were formed for about a hundred million years. Can you believe that? That's just insane.
So now we're heading back to the camper van. At the end of the trip, we took a coffee by this restaurant. It was so beautiful. And they have multiple restaurants up there with really nice seating and nice views. And also we hit the, the museum. And there was, yeah, such beautiful animals that lives around this area and inside that cave, like fish and stuff like that, which was so magical. So this is our view for the night and tomorrow morning how lucky we are yeah we are lucky and uh yeah it's just so amazing and so beautiful and yeah it feels magical magical <laughs> well. and uh, that's it for today's video if you enjoyed it please subscribe and like it helps support the channel a lot and see you in the next time in milan yeah. italy <laughs> <laughs> So we're hiking now to Gisbach Waterfall. Gisbach Waterfall. And look at this beautiful view. Isn't that amazing?